Hey, thank you for joining. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at user defaults. User defaults are a great way to take a little bit of the mundaneness out of setting up your schedules. Rather than having to type in the same default, the same email signature, the same phone number, the same database authentication information over and over and over again for your schedules, why not just create a default and add that accordingly? Pretty simple to do. Go to your options menu and then head down to user defaults. You have three different types of defaults, messaging, database, and miscellaneous. Under messaging, you can create a default subject, email subject, a default attachment, a default email, email message, and a default signature. Let's go ahead and add defaults for all of these. Excellent. I can spell check it if I want, and I'll click apply here. You can also create database defaults. If you select this, it'll automatically default to the, to the database logins that you selected here. You can either use the report settings, so we'll use whatever the settings are in that particular report in that particular schedule, or you can even enter in your own login credential information here and enter in your authentication and you're all set. Of course you can't actually set table logins from here as default because we don't know what report that you're going to be using in this particular case quite yet. So that particular option you'll have to still set up on a schedule by schedule basis. Next is miscellaneous. This is a default report location where, you, where your reports are always going to be stored. You can also create a default time and date stamp and this is the default, you can set up the default format for that as well. Now where on earth, how on earth do you use these defaults in your schedule? Let's go to a particular schedule. If we were to go to, say, our email, let's use some of our user defaults there. We, rather than using a CRD constant or typing in some static information, let's use our default. In your inserts window, go to user defaults and you'll see here the default subject, the default attachment, the default message, and the default signature. To use any of these, simply drag them and drop them into your email. And you'll see that they're simply appearing. And just keep dragging until you're all done. This saves a ton of time when setting up your schedules because it's as easy as just dragging it and dropping it in your email output. And can save a bunch of time, especially when you're getting to creating a few dozen schedules that are going out via email. Excellent. So we've just learned how to set up default def user defaults for emailing, database logins, and report locations. Thank you very much for joining.